Did J Lo know? I want to know. We all want to know, right? We need some answers, J Lo. We know that you might have been carrying the gun that night. We know that you might have seen some things. We know that Usher was a young man at that time and you were there. You didn't really speak about what happened. Now, for those of us that were there, 99, right? What a great year in rap music. Probably one of the best years ever in hip hop. It seems to be that the media is changing the narrative about what happened that night. For those of us that remember, once Diddy, aka Puff, Puffy at the time. Oh, and by the way, I saw some comments where people said, oh, he was called Diddy before that. Nah, nah, I don't, I don't remember that. I remember that he strategically changed his name from Puffy to P. Diddy after that case. But we know, man, there were some things that happened that are not being said today, such as J-Lo. Once the case, she got dismissed, and, and, and looking into this case, I didn't know that Puffy, J-Lo, and Shine were all arrested on gun charges. But of course, later, Diddy and J-Lo would have it dropped. Well, I think uh, Diddy actually had to go fight it in court, correct? She didn't say nothing. She didn't talk about what happened. She didn't do no interviews. She didn't do nothing. She was gone. Let's see what this headline says. Fed set to widen Diddy SEX probe over claims rapper boasted about shooting people, bribing jurors, and using J-Lo as a gun mule. This dude right here is getting the nickname called the Hip Hop Cop. Sound the alarm for that. Why would anybody want to call themselves the Hip Hop Cop? Do, do y'all see what they are doing to the culture? Do y'all see? Not only are they trying to turn the culture gay, which, again, which you've heard me say in other videos. There's nothing wrong with that. But let's just be real. It's not part of hip-hop culture. Just like we don't see that in country music. They want to do all these things and then they want to come up with these uh, nicknames like the hip-hop cop. I mean, how dumb is that? How There is no such thing as a hip-hop cop. Sound the alarm for that, man. Anyways. This is like a movie. I'm just bringing up the part where J-Lo, we know that you know some things that you ain't talking about. Didn't she just do a documentary? Of course she didn't speak about this at all in the documentary. And I just want to go here real quick. Uh, 50. Do you really think that your baby mama got with you because she liked you? Are you really surprised about what's happening here? Look, I respect 50, okay? Come on. Who doesn't, man? Legend in his own right. But I got to be real with you, man. I mean, didn't you even come out with a song that said, have a baby by me, baby, be a millionaire, right? Didn't you have a song called that? Let's be real, y'all. Do y'all really think that a woman like this is not after the bag? I mean, look at her. But did you see the letter that she wrote to 50? where she announced that you are no longer my oppressor. Daphne Joy calls out X 50 Cent. Evil actions accused him of alleged abuse. She didn't just accuse him of abuse. She accused him of R, you know, the R word. She accused him of that, okay? She accused him of physical and essayed her. This is what she's allegedly saying that he did or he allegedly did. Um, the 37 year old model and actress. I didn't know she was an actress. Look at this woman, man. It's it's unfortunate if she was really just all about the money. This is this is the only thing that Instagram is good for. When you want to check out a female, just go to her Instagram account, and then you'll be like, okay, all right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bravo. Yeah, I can see why. I can see why. Okay, now you're gonna tell me like this, so it's just a coincidence that she's hanging out with you, 50, right? Not just hanging out, she has a child with you. And then all of a sudden now, she's with Diddy, and she's on Diddy's payroll according to the lawsuit by uh, the producer Lil Rod, right? The details of this case just keep getting stranger 
and stranger, weirder and weirder as we go. And it was interesting that it's like, come on, man. We know that there's plenty of people in power that are doing the same thing. And that, uh, unfortunately, maybe it's also due to rap music and movies and uh, the culture and the capitalism of America. But it, it has just pushed mainly Western women into just thinking of a bag. They're not really caring about the man or who the man is. I almost feel like some women don't even care if um, they're being taken care of uh, mentally, physically, and all of the above. I think all they care about is just are they being taken care of financially now? Because this is why there's so many women that are just like, oh, you you can't do this. Then I'm going to go with Diddy. And it's like, wait, wait, wait. How are you going to go from one rapper to another well diddy's not really a rapper but i mean he's in the music business and you're just gonna bounce around the music industry like that makes no sense uh please let's cue in the chris brown song smoke we get drunk Took a broke. You see what I'm saying? Like these. This is what is um tearing women and black men apart. Uh, it's time for us to educate ourselves and get smarter. I mean, they're fun songs. You can have fun. You could dance and do your thing in the club. But it's like, Trap. okay. So Chris Brown told you right there. You know what I mean? So I don't. I don't know. Fifty. I think you should have known this already. Let's be real, man. If you wasn't rich and famous. You think you think you're going to bag a female like this, man? Come on, come on. Let's be real, man. No, no disrespect, but maybe I can't really trust a female that's too heavily into social media, anyways. Like I said, once a girl starts telling me, uh, "Oh, uh, follow me on Instagram," I'm like, uh, "No, thank you. Red flags." He was larger than life, but at first, I I didn't like him at all. You know, I didn't. I thought he was like, you know, ick. I didn't like him because. Oh, you know, oh. I, I was very Did she say ick? Went that way. You know, I was very like family oriented and a, kind of a, you know, the married. T you know, I was actually when we first worked together on the video, I was married, even though I was mm. going through problems. Nobody knew that. You know what I mean? And I. You know, I wanted my family, and even though at that time it was not going well, you know what I mean? That was who I was. That's how I was raised. The two kept in touch over the next few years, and when Jennifer left her marriage, they became much more than just friends. Mm, I Once bet. I got to know him, and, you know, we became friends first, and then um, we, we developed this bond. We both understood where we were at that time in our lives, and we both knew nobody else understood exactly how we felt. Um, so sitting there, being handcuffed to a bench, and, mm. you know, I do remember feeling the comfort of someone caring about you enough that, you know, they just wanted to make it okay and couldn't believe that we were in this situation and how did this happen. Did y'all hear that? She basically said that Diddy was ick. Wow. Did Diddy text you. Does he still try to holler? <laughs> yeah, he has to because it's, it's pop. He... No. No? <laughs> that, was, that was an awkward, no, all right. No, she said no. <laughs> Has Diddy ruined it for, like, black guys or just hip-hop guys? Like, after him, he's like, I'm not dating no more black hip-hop guys ever again. You know what? I'm a little bit off musicians. So I'm not going to lie. Okay. <laughs>